Yeah, it is it is quite challenging in brick industry, and I would just like to first tell that it is uh, it has the brick industry has connection with different sections of society or sort of our overall sort of socio-economic landscape. Um, so on one hand, this industry is a sort of an informal industry which is using local resources and is providing basic building material at quite cheaper prices to the population and it also employs some of the most sort of poorest people in this it, it provides employment to a huge number of uh, poor people and but it also have these environmental issues whether it is use of topsoil and environment so one of the challenges is that in such sector if you if you if you want to regulate them your any single action will have uh, impact at various points hmm. it has Im impact on employment and all this so it becomes it becomes quite challenging uh, that how should we uh, regulate the sector so so what we feel is that first of all we will have to uh, divide the industry like we have a part of brick industry which is supplying to large urban centers and I think how we regulate it should be very different from the industry which is supplying to local rural markets so till now we have in india we have we are trying to have a national some sort of a regulations which anyway are difficult to implement uh, so what we are saying is that you should have either regional or uh, uh, regulations or regulations for say urban centers which are different from rural areas the other thing is that currently the regulations are many even in case of environment regulation there are a regulation for air pollution there is regulation for uh, mining there is regulation for use of fly ash so the need is that as far as environment regulations are concerned they should all be consolidated and should be sort of a cohesive a comprehensive regulation for brick kiln which 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 can be brought about uh, but only the environment regulations will not help we'll have to create also market for alternate bricks or bricks which are produced uh, uh, sort of which are sort of resource efficient bricks and for that we may also require some changes in the building regulation so that the type of building material which can be used in buildings can um, uh, should be such which is more resource efficient actually if you look at the total demand of bricks hmm, uh, I think there is place for both clay fired brick as well as other alternate materials because first of all India is a very large country and our demand are very large and secondly also the choice of building material also depends on local climate and local requirements so in certain parts of the country you may have clay fired bricks uh, hopefully hollow clay fired bricks they may be better choice in some other cases where you have lot of waste material and they can be used you can have brick making based on waste waste material or tomorrow you may have some other kind of walling material which make which may not require bricks at all so uh, so i think the uh, the international experience also shows that in most of like suppose if you case if the take case of europe uh, there are five six seven different materials which coexist so i think there is place for each material Uh, I think there are something on regulations which we should look at uh, that having environment regulations um, which are comprehensive as well as we have a system to really implement them on the ground. One of the big issue with us is that if suppose there are 100,000 brick making units, how are you going to, what is the capacity of the state pollution control port? So, so, so so the regulation should be such which should be easy to be administered at the state level okay so that should be taken into account because monitoring each of the kiln is not possible second is that as i said that i think we should look at the demand side we should look at whether we our building regulations uh, can promote use of certain uh, and this some of the countries have done china has done that for their large urban centers where they have ban the use of solid clay fired brick so 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 can we 
can we make our changes uh, changes in the building regulation so uh, so these are things in terms of technology there are a lot of technologies which exist internationally india has uh, india has been a sort of a laggard in this so so uh, a lot of those technologies can be adapted right. to india On regulations, uh, I think uh, uh, some of the countries have taken a position that that the small scale they will try to eliminate a small scale traditional brick making, and then they will have a fewer plants producing in large quantities, and they will be able to regulate it. So, so this has been an approach which has been taken by several countries, so that over a period of time, the traditional, uh, the small-scale brick making is totally eliminated. Now, what its impact would be on India if suppose we approach? I think that is something which we should think about, because of the also the issue of uh, employment. So, 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 but I think we should look into the merits and demerits of this. Uh, and as I said earlier, that uh, we really have to look at building regulations and see that whether we can create space for uh, green or sustainable building materials in our building regulations. Uh, I think in urban areas we will definitely see a change uh, irrespective of whether regulation comes or not. I think the urban construction in India is changing fast. It is becoming high rise and the they require light material, material which through which they can construct fast, and uh, so so that's why already the builders are looking at prefabricated panels. They are looking at AC blocks. They are looking at hollow clay blocks. So I think demand for these materials will increase, uh, um, and the traditional brick will lose space there. This is this has already started happening in markets like Bangalore or Bombay, uh, or uh, to a certain extent at Chennai also. Um, uh, I think uh, there may not be a huge impact on the rural market because a significant part of the demand comes from rural areas. There, uh, even the current practice of brick making may continue. But I think there would be more and more growing conflict because the way in which we are producing brick is probably 18th century. And uh, and there is always a conflict in terms of how the industry is organized and how are the owner labor relationship so the brick industry will be under tremendous pressure to from various quarters to change i think i think for countries like india we have to definitely look at the at the employment angle i think we have we need uh, like personally i am of the opinion that at least in these sectors which provide huge amount of employment we should promote uh, local small medium scale production and which are not fully automated because uh, so I think what we are looking at a certain level of mechanization which reduces drudgery and very harsh working conditions in which brick workers work which gives them decent working uh, work uh, but still sort of retain uh, um, uh, uh, retain employment uh, employability because it is possible that uh, um, like if suppose you look at brick industry in Europe so where we are suppose employing thousand people they may be employing just one or two people so we don't want to go that route but perhaps with some sort of a mechanization <coughs> instead of thousand jobs probably we can create 500 uh, decent working condition jobs so I think that is where we should be looking at So, so, so we think that if suppose uh, mm, overall, if suppose we look at the brick industry, so uh, on the clay fired brick industry, we see that first step should be a change from the current firing technology, which is FCBTK to probably zigzag firing. And, uh, mm, and secondly, from there, we try to move towards some of the hollow clay fired products. Uh, similarly, I think we require uh, many more sort of a non fired clay brick options to be developed and simultaneously go towards that where in say next 10 to 20 years time um, we can 
probably like i think what we feel is that it is possible to reduce energy and environment emissions by a factor of almost half uh, uh, if we if we carefully go through what's hollow uh, clay brick making as well as use of non fired products uh, so 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 that should be roadmap but it should be stepwise uh, sort of a, a roadmap